say goodbye to the days of staring at rows and rows of what feels like millions of supplier options and not having a clue where to start or what to buy. In today's video, I'm going to share our top 10 kids craft supplies with you. So let's dive in. Well, hello there. I'm Christelle, co-founder of the Creative Crafting Club, the place to be if you want to start and grow a meaningful kids crafting club. Today, I'm going to share our top 10 kids craft supplies with you. Have you found yourself in a craft store staring at rows and rows of what feels like millions of supply options and not having a clue where to start or what to buy? Yep, going craft supply shopping can be very intimidating if you don't know what to buy and what not to buy. When it comes to kids, it's also important to buy things that will at least last a season or two or ideally a few years. We had no idea what to buy when we started our club. But crafting with kids on a daily basis over the years has helped us a lot to see and understand which supplies and brands work and which ones just don't. The ironic thing is that the best crafting projects and experiences come from using a small list of basic supplies. And you'll see you'll end up using these supplies over and over again. You really don't need fancy supplies to create something awesome. Also, if you stock up on these 10 supplies, you can do about 80% of the Creative Crafting Club lesson plans. To make your shopping experience as stress-free as possible, we've created a free Creative Crafting Supply Checklist PDF to help you get started. Here's our top 10 favorite kids crafting supplies. Number one, recyclable materials. The best part of creative crafting is that you don't actually have to buy all the supplies. You can also collect supplies. Ask friends, family and neighbors to help and start collecting today. Here's a list of recyclable materials that we often use in our classes. Toilet rolls, paper towel rolls, milk formula tins and other tins, cardboard, think delivery and cereal boxes, paper straws, egg cartons, plastic bottles of all sizes, milk cartons, boxes and bottles, soda cans, paper cups, wine corks, lost socks, old pool noodles, bottle caps, old scraps of fabric. These super cool puppets were made using recycled milk boxes, egg cartons and cardboard. Number two, paint brushes. We keep a variety of paint brush sizes in our studio. We most often use the brushes with the round tips. A good set of paint brushes can be used by all ages, and if you buy proper paint brushes, they will last you years. Number three, tempera cakes. Paint. These babies work like magic for all ages. They are an absolute must have. They last long and work well on most material types, such as paper, cardboard, and fabric. We are absolutely in love with the fluorescent colors, but be aware they are a bit more pricey and they don't last as long as the primary colors and the secondary colors. Number four, Sharpies. We must have tried about five different marker brands before we found the one that lasts. Color Sharpies work great for adding detail, and black Sharpies can put an edge on projects and make them look rounded off and beautiful. Here are a few projects where we encourage the kids to use Sharpies. Notice how the solid black lines make the other colors stand out even more. If you find that Sharpies are too expensive or do not last long enough for you, don't underestimate the value of a classic old black ballpoint pen. I'm sure you can collect a few from your husband's man drawer. A lot of creatives use black pens to illustrate and it works like a charm as a design tool. Number five, paper. Nothing special to say here. We all know how awesome paper is. We most often use A4 printer or copy paper. Brown paper, color paper, and then lots and lots of A3 thick paper, plus minus 200 grams for our projects. We buy them in large packs as it works out cheaper and you can never have enough. 
Number six, oil pastel crowns with tweens and normal jumbo crowns with tots. We used to also work with chalk and other types of crowns, but over the years it's become very clear. Oil pastels work best for ages four and up. The colors look bright and striking on projects and you can buy them in bulk so they last very long. Even at home, when my toddler looks like he's becoming a bit restless, I often whip out my container of jumbo crayons and paper and he keeps himself busy for a while. Crayons can be a choking hazard for little ones, so we suggest you buy the jumbo crayons for kids under four. Number seven, a hot glue gun. If you have a glue gun, a world of creative possibilities opens up. My glue gun is my best friend in my studio. It allows us to build and invent and stick things in place properly. I mean, come on, who in this day and age has the time to wait for glue to dry? We've got places to be and things to create. Once you start gluing things with a glue gun, you will be hooked. So make sure you invest in a good one. I remember how surprised I was initially of how affordable they actually are. And then you can replenish the glue sticks as you run out. And then very, very important, safety always comes first, especially when working with kids. We only use our glue gun for prep work. We don't bring it out during a class to prevent accidents, burns from happening. If you absolutely have to bring it out in class, only do so for older kids and have a separate glue gun workstation away from the kids where a child can come to you one at a time and show you where they need glue and then you can operate the gun. Number eight, pipe cleaners. Pipe cleaners are a great asset in a crafting club studio for several reasons. Reason one, they come in really bright colors and they look fabulous in a glass jar. Reason two, little fingers love feeling the unique textures and bending it around their little hands. Hello, fine motor skills. And then reason three, they are practical as they can tie things together. Reason four, they work perfectly to create tentacles of all kinds. Number nine, duct tape. We use duct tape all the time for our projects. We use it to stick all kinds of things. And unlike most tape, it actually sticks. My friend's dad fixed his running shorts with duct tape and it even withstands a washing machine. What an amazing product. The more colorful, the better. And then the last one, number 10, things you may already have at home. Scissors, pencils, pencil sharpener, black pens, elastic bands, wool or yarn, double-sided tape, aluminum foil, a stapler, embroidery needles, ribbons, single hole punch, wood clothespins, craft sticks, paper plates, paper fasteners, round stickers, foam sheets. So let's wrap up. Let's do a quick recap. Recyclable materials, paint brushes, tempera cakes, paint, sharpies, paper, oil pastel crayons for tweens and normal jumbo crayons for tots, a hot glue gun, pipe cleaners, duct tape and things you may already have at home. So there you have it. Don't forget to download your free creative crafting supply checklist and buying guide PDF to help you get started. Now I'd love to hear from you. What is the one crafting supply you can't live without? Tell me in the comments below. Until next time, cheers. Thank you.